guys. Today we're going to show you how to eat Maryland blue crabs. Maryland blue crabs are a staple of the DC area. Maryland blue crabs are mostly found on the east coast. On the west coast you'll notice they have more dungeness crabs which are the larger crabs you'll find in restaurants but on the east coast in the Maryland area you'll find blue crabs all over anywhere you look. In the restaurants you can also get them and cook them at home and today we got blue crabs from one of our local businesses called Rough and Ready and we got them already cooked. We usually cook them ourselves uh, but what we're also going to do today is barbecue some crabs so we just got these crabs special to give you guys a demonstration of how you eat Maryland blue crabs. Hey guys so we got some Maryland crabs that are already cooked and depending on where you go they give you like a bag of seasoning. I think this is just Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning that they give um, most of the time. If you go to a, uh, like a place that has crabs and you buy them cooked, they'll usually season them with the Old Bay seasoning or some kind of uh, mixture of seasoning of their own. And they, you can get it on the crabs or you can get some in the bag to go. It's really up to you. Cause sometimes they put too much so um, we'll get some to go or on the side. It depends on how, cause it's kind of salty so it depends on what you like. And so these are Maryland blue crabs. And this particular one is um, a female and the way that you can tell that is if you turn it over and then you see the back, how it's wide like this. If it's wide like this, then that's a female crab. <coughs> also, we'll also show you a male crab because we got some of those for you guys too. And these are male crabs. And you see um, how it's thinner on the back. So they call this the apron back here. And it's like thin for a male, and then it's thicker for a female, so you can see like what they both look like back here. And then on the female, we'll open it up and see, but sometimes they have eggs in them, and I don't like the egg, so uh, I don't usually ever get these, ever, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to open them, so I wanted you to see the two different kinds and the differences. Um, and also, sometimes in the D.C. area, folks will say that the shape is more like the capital. Um, and then that's how you can tell the females. And then the males are more like the monument. So, okay, let's take out a few of these. Again, they look the same on the front pretty much. Um, I'm gonna take out a few of these to eat. These are females. This side. And here's another female right here. Yep, yep. And let's see what else we got right here. And usually, wherever you go, you get crabs they already seen. They're gonna put them in a, a paper bag because you can tear open the bag and then you can eat on the bag. Like usually. People will uh, get some during the summer and then they eat them just like hanging out in the park or um, some place like that. Uh, people grab them and they'll get a few eat with like family or friends or themselves and you just can tear open the bag and just eat on that. But we happen to have like newspaper so we're going to be eating them on newspaper today. Okay, so what I usually like to do is I'm going to get one of these males these are the ones that I like and so um, I like to just tear off the legs first I tear off the legs first and these are kind of small sometimes you'll get like some meat out of the leg and um, then I like 
but and then sometimes depending on how big the crab is um, you can like break open the leg and maybe get some meat out of there but it's pretty small so I don't usually bother with it sometimes I'll uh, get some out and I'll just suck on this eat this a little bit but that's not that much so I just put it on the side and um I usually just go through and pop all the little ones off and see if I can get some meat out of them. And they pop off pretty easily. And um, if I get like a little piece of meat, then I get to eat it. Suck it off. And now when I get to this part back here, um, which is by like the flipper that they use to swim around with. Um, I try to hold it, like try to wiggle it around to see if I can get some more meat out. Usually I don't, but sometimes I'll get like a little piece and I'll eat that one too and get those off. And then when I get back here, I like to take the bigger claws off and you can see some, there's like a little bit of meat here on these and eat that and put these on the side. And then to get this open back here, um, to get really to most of the meat, which is back here, I like to use um, one of the legs and I take this pointy part and you just stick it in and it helps you lift this up here. See how I did that with the leg? And then I pull this back and discard this because you can't eat this. Um, that's just shell. And then like, now I can uh, pop off the top of the shell. It's like a space here now, so I use my thumb and I just pull it apart like this. And so this is what the inside of the crab looks like when you open it. And then some people eat this um, green stuff in here that's inside of the crab. And I guess these are like um, crab organs. Uh, people just call this the mustard and some people eat it. I don't know exactly what it is though. So I put that on the side. Um, but what I like to do, cause I don't, I like try to get as, have it like as m the least messy as possible. So I use one of the crab legs and these are the lungs here and you're not supposed to eat those so I take one of the legs and I just uh, push them off and like they just come right off and I'll show you guys again take these and I just push the lungs off like kind of out of the way like all this stuff I don't eat I really like to use the um, claws to get them off and so here also you'll see some more of the mustard and some of the organs are in here too uh, intestines and things so I like to use the claw um, just to clean it out down here is the mouth um, and you can see like right here how it's moving around you can see how you can move it around um, and I like to break that off too. And you can just use the claw for that. So I like to use the claw because I don't want my fingers, I want my fingers to get <laughs> as, as the least dirty as possible. Um, and because this is stuff I don't eat, I'm just like, ew, and I just want to get it off with something else other than my fingers. So I just use the um, claw to kind of clean stuff out a little bit. And now you'll see the inside of the crab. And you don't see um, as much of the mustard anymore, as much as uh, the green or the yellow stuff. And where the meat really is, a lot of the meat is over here on the sides. And this is where we pull the legs off. And so sometimes when you pull the leg off, especially up here, <coughs> Um, the flippers you can get this big piece of meat out here um, but what I like to do to get my meat out is like 
uh, crack this in half and I like to uh, push inward like this and that cracks it. And so now I have two pieces and then sometimes I can get a big piece of meat when I crack it like that. Well, I like doing it like this. And this is nice and neat. Somebody else is over there tearing up some crabs like a true Marylander. I'm not from Maryland, but I started eating uh, crabs when I moved here. I'm not from DC either, but I started eating crabs when I moved here. And this is how I like to eat mine. So. You don't deserve crabs, do you? I don't tear through them like that, but this is how I like to eat them. You don't deserve crabs. I like to get crabs when I want them. Okay, I don't feel like um, doing all this breaking up because once you get down in here, you'll see you gotta dig and get like the little pieces of meat that are inside the crab. Um, you can eat those, and then you have to like crack, start cracking off the shell. And like you just feel, start feeling, and like this is white, but this is shell. And just start cracking at it, and then you'll get the meat out of there. And so, um, up here again, like at this top part where the flipper was, is the uh, really like the most meat. So, stick my finger in there and just pull it out. And now I have all this meat here. Okay, like that. And if you get a shell, just spit it out. Or eat it. Nah, I'm not eating it, but you can't eat a shell if you want to, I guess. Just I don't calcium. eat them. I guess it's just calcium, but I'm not eating them. So, that's easy. I mean, it's not difficult, but sometimes it's like, mm, <laughs> annoying, cause you just get like, annoying to me, cause you just get like little pieces of meat. So I try to get, I get like crab legs a lot, or if we can get like the really big crabs and I get really big ones, and then you just get a lot of meat out of it. So you're not like, looking for, um, Like these little pieces of meat. But it's good once you get in there. The meat is really good. I love crab meat. Oh, looking on here. I love crab meat. It's really good. It's really expensive in the store, so. I don't know if you like crab legs. You, I mean, crab cakes, you can try to make those, but like the lump crab meat in the store is really expensive, so. I mean, I usually don't mind eating some, just eating some crabs, because I don't want to pay for the lump crab meat in the grocery store. Okay. So, I'm eating some of this. I'm eating some of this because it's good. So once you get in here, it's good. You ain't worried about all, uh, you're not worried about like shells and stuff like that. You're just spitting them out and eating. <clears throat> and these are the male and we're gonna open up a female too. Um, just cause I wanna see if I, I see any eggs in there. Um, I don't usually eat those, but I can show y'all what they look like if we got some in there. And we went to another crab place earlier. They didn't have any females, so I don't, I don't know how that goes. I don't know if it has anything to do with the time of year or not. Right now it's like fall. It's getting pretty cold. Um, see a female. So here's a female. I'll show them how to go through a crab. <laughs> you want to show the female? You want to open it? This is a female crab. It's got the capital shape, capital dome right there. That's how you know it's a female crab. So the way I go through a crab is I first break the legs off. Some people use crackers, but 
I don't want to go through all that, so I just break them open. Sometimes you can break this and pull the meat out like that. I just eat it, but that doesn't always happen like that. So I just use my teeth. Break it with your teeth. Kind of delicate. Don't bite all the way through it, but just kind of peel the shell back. piece of meat. So let me get in here and get some more. And then for the arm. This one, you usually try to wiggle this a little bit. Pull that thumb off. Sometimes you can pull a piece of meat out of there. Doesn't always work. So same thing, you can use a cracker, crab cracker or I just use my teeth. Get that open. Break it open a little, crack the shell. You're not biting all the way through it, you just kind of want to crack the shell. So you can get to this, this piece of meat. This has like a little piece of, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a... Uh, Crab bone or something. Yeah, sure. I guess for a better, lack of a better word, it's a crab bone in the middle of his. It's like flat, so you kind of just uh, put this between your teeth and pull it like you're eating a uh, artichoke. So that's what's in the middle. Oh yeah, so here's this uh, thing that's in the middle. So this is the other leg, so I'll skip that. Since we already went through the leg. Uh, I usually break the back swimmers off. These are the swimmer uh, fins. Helps the crab move around in the water. Um, sometimes you pull those off, you can pull like the big piece of meat. Uh, this part back here is considered the uh, lump uh, crab meat. That's like the most expensive, um, expensive can of crab meat. The uh, jumbo lump. Uh, I mean, sorry, back fin. This is what this called the back fin, and that's the most expensive uh, crab meat. Then I just pull the legs off. The legs, there's nothing in there. I just pull those off. Get them, get them out the way. Then I save one. They got a sharp tip, and I just use that to open the shell like that. And that's the female opens up. Has this whole little apron in there. Um, different from the male the male is kind of just slender and so you pull that up and reach down in here kind of snap that off then you kind of get a grip well I usually put my thumb on like the uh, where the back swimmer was then you put my other hand in the top though I guess the underside of the top shell and just pull them apart like that So then you have the orange uh, eggs in here, then you have the mustard. Uh, a lot of people don't eat the must, uh, mustard, but a lot of people in uh, Maryland, uh, crab eaters have been eating it their whole life. They do eat the mustard. I personally eat the mustard. It has the best flavor. If you've never eaten the crab, you can try it. Um, it's kind of like the the marrow of a steak bone. Like it has the, it has the, the concentrated flavor of the, of the crab. So you can try it, it won't hurt you. If you don't like it, don't eat it. And if you do like it, then you just found something that you like. So me, I usually, I eat all this. Uh, I won't go through all that. Um, and so for this, uh, personally, I don't clean out all the insides. Uh, I eat it, because it's good. The way I eat my crabs, I break it in half, like this. And when I broke it in half, I got a lot of the meat from the other side. So this is like the back fin from the other half of the crab. And this is some of the leg meat uh, that pulled out when I pulled this. And this is like a lot of mustard. A lot of people wash that off, but nope. That's a prize for me. So I'm gonna eat it. So what I do after I clean that, all that off, 
all that goodness off. Uh, yeah, take the gills. You can just take one swipe and you can just remove those, pull those off. You're not supposed to eat those. Uh, people say you get sick if you eat them. I mean, as a kid, I ate them because my mother showed me once. She said, if uh, melon crab eaters, you don't get a, uh, you're not going to get a tutorial. Uh, if your parents grew up in Maryland, they're going to show you once, maybe twice, and after that, you're on your own. So for a long time, I ate the ate the gills that mm -hmm. when I wasn't supposed to eat them. So I'm still here today. So, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but don't eat them. And so what I like to do once I have the half a crab, I kind of like this area between the the swimmer. This is where the swimmer is, and just kind of right in the middle. I kind of try to peel that shell away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when I pull out the, I can kind of pull out the, 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 what's left of the swimmer. Sometimes I get the whole lump of meat in there, sometimes I don't. But once you peel that shell away, you can put your finger in and swipe through it. And then you pull out a whole meat. lump of meat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And you still have a little bit more left in here. So you clean all that. That's like the biggest cache of meat in here. And so next, the crab meat is kind of like worked along the body of the meat. It's in between these uh, these little caves of meat in here between the, um, I guess the inner workings of the shell. So what I like to do, my technique, uh, different people in Maryland have different techniques how to eat crab. I squeeze it together like this, and then break it apart in half like that. So now you have all the meat exposed on both halves. Mm. So now, you have the ability to just swipe your finger down the, down the shell and eat the crab meat. All the way down. Work your finger through. Sometimes you can just pull it out. All the crab meat was inside here, and you see how the chambers are kind of separated by some shell. Um, and so that's what we mean by like just swipe your finger down between knees, and that's where the meat is. So now you have the other side of the, the crab, the half that I just broke. Like I can do the same thing. Just a little bit up top here. Same here. Let's pull it out. And you may get a little bit of shell if you want to go through and pick it every little piece that's up to you but once you get to a certain number of crabs you just go ahead and chew through it it's not going to hurt you and that's how you eat a crab and this is like all the shell that we have from just eating like i guess there's just like two crabs here uh-huh yes yeah, so this is like all the shell from a couple of crabs um, so you do got to work your way through it to get to the meat and we have a few more left like four more of these steamed crabs so we're going to work our way through these but I hope we helped you guys today understand a little bit more about Maryland brew crabs and how to open them, how to eat them. <clears throat> And if you guys have any more suggestions or requests on um, videos that you'd like to see, please let us know. Leave your comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please share and subscribe to our channel. And if and you're ever in DC and need someone to show you how to eat crabs, you can buy them and tell us to come over and we'll 
come over and tell you in person how to eat crabs. Yes, just follow us on Instagram at Flights and Foods. Also, look for us on all other social media, Facebook, etc. It's all Flights and Foods, and we will come show you how to eat crabs. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.